You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Well, what do you know? There's young Dickie Dozen just finishing the supper dishes. All by himself, too. Oh, here comes his sister, Daisy. Why, Dickie Dozen, you feeling all right? Sure, silly. Yes, but you offering to do all the dishes for Ma. Oh, I guess a fella can wash dishes, can't he? Besides, doing dishes with Duz is a snap. Well, like Ma says, Duz does everything in the wash, and it's got everything for dishes, too. Listen, Smarty, I know all that. I know Duz makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done. And it cuts grease like 60. Yet it's kind of to hands. But I want to know what you're up to, being so angelic. I'm up to washing dishes, that's what. <whistles> Gee, Duz makes wonderful suds. Look, they're still standing up even when I get to these greasy pots and pans. Yeah, you don't have to keep adding soap either. But listen, Dickie, you know you usually race out to play baseball with Stinky. Ah, I'll be with Stinky in a flash. Why, Duz will zip through this grease on Ma's frying pan in less than half a minute. And my pitching arm won't be tired from any hard scouring either. You and your pitching arm. I like the way Duz leaves my hands so smooth and nice. It's kinder to him. But, Dickie, you better tell me what supper. I'll go... All right, all right. I just thought if I gave the dishes their daily dozen, Ma, I'd feel better. Feel better when? Well, when she sees the note my teacher wrote about me. Well, Dickie, I don't know about that note, but Duz is head of the class for dishes. Why, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, Duz is the only one of them that gives you all this. Makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done, cuts grease like 60 yet it's kinder to your hands. So change to Duz, D-U-Z. It has everything for dishes. And now the Goldbergs. Well, the fate of Grace and George is in the hands of the people of Lastenbury, whom they had cheated and swindled. In a good democratic way, these people, acting as a jury, listened quietly while George, with great dignity, asked for another chance while Grace insulted and defied them, and while Molly pleaded for the two and for their unborn child. They've taken a vote, and now Grace and George await the verdict. Listen. Ma! Ma! Excuse me, Rosalie? Yes. Mrs. Rosalie, you came back again. Why don't you stay home until I come home? I Why? can't, Ma. Don't you think I'm just as anxious as you are? I'm not anxious. I'm sick already. Well, Ma. Well, what? Nobody knows yet what will be. Well, is Papa inside with Grace and George? Yes. Are they nervous? They're very nervous. Well, what's Papa saying to them? Nothing. He gave George a cigar. Oh. And uh, what's everybody else doing? They're writing on little pieces. They're writing boats. What should be with Grace and George? They're writing on pieces of paper. And they're putting in Floyd Newton's hat. And after it'll be counted. Well, how long does it take them to write? It can't be rushed, Rosalie. It can be rushed. It's a big question what to do with Grace and George. Well, why did they decide to put it to a vote? A secret vote. Secret. Everybody's to write yes or no. And yes means what? Yes means that Grace and George should be arrested and tried on the trial immediately. And no means... No uh, means? No means something else. Uh, we'll see what will be with, uh, with, with the no. Well, how, how does it look, Ma? I can't tell yet, Rosalie. Well, Mrs. Decker wants them arrested, I'm sure. <laughs> well, wrong altogether, Mrs. Decker is not wrong altogether. When a law is broken, it must be punished. That's the law. You don't think so, Ma? I don't think so. I think so very much. I think so very much. But, 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 but in law, you, you, you have to use your heart as well as your head. When, when law becomes a prison of words in which people are pushed, then you don't have law. Because you don't have justice. Well, Molly, what's holding up the procedure? The procedure? I don't know what's holding up the procedure. I don't know, Jake. Oh, Jake. The suspense that Grace and George are enduring is already enough punishment. Believe me. Oh, they're nervous. They're not nervous. I'm asking. You have to ask. They are. You wouldn't be. No, I wouldn't be. Bruce? Mm -hmm. Well... Oh, they're still at it. Why, oh, they're still at it. Still at it. Why, oh, they're still at it, Bruce. From the way the people were talking, I thought everybody had their minds made up already. Maybe they did when they began to talk, but after sitting around, well, you hear another man's opinion and it gets you thinking. 
<laughs> Besides, it ain't easy, as you said, Mrs. Goldberg. It's not easy. It's not just George and Grace. It's the fact that whatever we do to Grace is going to be done to the baby. She'll have... Uh, Christmas. Christmas. Well, that ought to remind them of another child, who he was and what he was and what he said. Come ye yourselves apart and rest a while. Well, maybe they'll think of it, maybe they won't. People got a habit of separating justice and charity, so you see, it makes it kind of hard to come to a black or white answer. People want to do right when they can, and condemning an unborn child to poverty or prison isn't easy. Not at all, Mrs. Decker. Yes. Mrs. Well, Decker. I guess we're all ready now. All right. Here's your hat. All the ballots are in. Thank you, Mrs. Decker. Could I bring in George and Grace? Oh, no, yeah. no, not yet. Wait till I take the count. Can oh. I help? You you go inside, Rosalie, please. Uh, well, Bruce, well, uh, you're counting the ballots? The ballots, Mom. Go inside. I'm going. Inside. Uh, you're counting the votes, Bruce? There's one. Oh, one ready. <laughs> what? Shh. Not so much mixed opinion as I thought there'd be. Not so mixed. Let me see. Count them, Mrs. Goldberg. Well, you better, Bruce. I'm too nervous. If you're nervous, but don't you go inside and sit down? Uh, what's that one? The same. Molly, oh. you're white as milk. Go in. I'm going. Well, Bruce, you... You seen them all already? Hmm. The pro and the con and the yes and the no's? Yes, it, this is the last one. Oh, the last one? You can get Grace and George to come in. No. What was the last one? Yeah. In oh. a few minutes. Sure, should I go and get them yes, now? Yes, Mrs. Goldberg, please. All right. I'll, I'll go and get them now. Please, Mrs. Goldberg. Y yes, I'll tell George and Grace to come in this room and the other room. Yes, here. This room. Here, here. Yes. This Folks. room. Folks, you can all come in here now. Floyd, Mrs. Decker, Mrs. Heaton, Lorene, Sam Baggett, Tiny Tubbs. Come on in, please, everybody. Come on in, folks. Well, I, I counted your ballot. Well, how's it stand? All right, George. Grace. George, Grace. Come. Come in. Uh, Floyd. Bruce. Find yourself another seat, will you, please? Right here, George and Grace. You. Right here, Grace. You're comfortable, Grace? Molly, find yourself a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Jake, I'm shaking like a leaf. Sit down and you won't shake. Excuse me, Mrs. Decker. No, it's all right. Thank you. Come sit. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, uh, Grace and George, I think you should know what procedure we took in deciding what should be done with you. Everybody in this room had a voice. Everybody. There were two things we could do. Arrest you both and have you stand trial. And people who thought that was the best way to treat your case voted yes. On the other hand, those who were against arresting you were instructed to vote no. No, yes. And I think the two of you should understand completely what we discussed in this room in order that you can understand the vote. We've had a bad experience with you. You come to this town and passed yourself off as decent people. You, Grace, pretended to be Sammy's wife, even though George was your husband. That was a crime. Crime. When Mrs. Goldberg found out, she tried to give you and your husband a chance. Well, she did. And you paid her off by stealing the committee's funds raised to help delinquent children. That was another crime. Yeah. It made everybody good and mad. And putting you both in prison would be the safest thing to do and maybe the best thing. You've both given many chances to save yourselves. And each time you pick wrong. Very wrong. And if that was all there was to it, I, I guess we wouldn't have discussed it too long. We'd have voted yes in two minutes. But Mrs. Goldberg brought up another point. We'd given you too many chances and each time you'd failed to take advantage of them. But you, Grace, are, are having a baby. And your baby would be born without a chance if we sent you to prison. So we had to weigh that, too. Should we take a chance away from your baby, because that would mean giving you, too, still another chance, 
and we talked it over. We decided that people who voted no would vote to put you both on probation. You would live in this town and work here until the baby was born, if you proved yourselves good parents. Well, that would be your own good fortune. If not, the baby would be taken away from you after it was born. And the law can do it. Law? That's the way things were. Yes or no. Yes, immediate trial and prison. No, a chance for your child, and therefore a chance for you. Hmm. Well, oh, yeah. I've got the ballots tallied, and I think they prove one thing. Glastonbury is a real American town where people have a steady hope in what people will do if they're given a chance. There were 17 votes, and they all voted no. Oh, Chris, you hate the old votes of no. Oh, Chris. And Molly's faith in her friends and neighbors, Molly's faith in her town and in people has been justified. You know, friends, it's always wise to keep your hopes high for the future, no matter how unpromising the present may look. In fact, that's the advice I gave Daisy Dozum's young Bo O'Donnell the other day. You see, he was telling me... Gee, Daisy Dozum's my dream girl. I'm gonna marry her someday. Gosh, she knows all about keeping house, making fudge, and washing things and does. <laughs> well, Donald, you and Daisy ought to be very happy, especially on wash day. Because ladies does does everything in the wash. Why, this new kind of soap does work shirts, towels to pretty rayon slips. Honestly, does is the only leading granulated wash day soap that gives longer life to the nice colors you wash, plus unsurpassed whiteness for towels and real cleaning power for the dirtiest clothes. Yes, even in the toughest wash, does does everything. And remember, this is wartime. Don't waste does. All soaps contain vitally needed war materials. So save up your dirty clothes and wash several loads in the same does suds. See that every bit of does you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Maybe Molly's experiment is a success. It all depends on Grace's attitude toward the decision forced upon her. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.